Imagine for a second making a YouTube video and viewers are actually enjoying and appreciating it. What? You're probably making videos right now that just stink. Raise your hand, or in fact, like this video down below if you've made videos on YouTube that didn't get you any subscribers or new clients added to your email list, or maybe generated tons of new subscribers, but they just weren't your ideal subscriber or client. It can be a huge investment of time, energy, and money to not only build an email list on YouTube and go from, oh no, it's just a bunch of sub for subbers to, heck yes, leads. In today's video, I wanna show you how to create good content on YouTube so that you can double or even triple the size of your email list with more of your ideal clients. Hey Big Shots, my name is Daniel Ford and I help seasoned coaches and consultants that truly wanna master the strategies of YouTube for their business so that they can actually get more fresh leads and profits every day without pouring more money into paid ads. If this sounds like you, make sure that you subscribe down below because I'm releasing videos just like this every Tuesday. YouTube has specifically come out and said the biggest factor for getting your videos to appear in search and in suggested is by increasing your audience retention rate. This is something they pay attention to. At the end of the day, what YouTube cares about is displaying content to viewers that they will like. So looking at my top videos on my channel, you can see that the top five videos have the lowest audience retention rate at about 30%. So if you can get your audience to this point in the video, then your chances of getting ranked in search or suggested by YouTube will be significantly higher. So let me share with you my top tips for getting your audience to watch longer. All of this has to do with the story technique. So you guys remember that nursery rhyme? It's really simple. It goes like this. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. So that's a simple story, but great stories can move people. Stories like this are simple yet powerful. I want you to think of your favorite movies or books that have the most incredible storytelling. Maybe it's the epic scale of Lord of the Rings that really inspires you to keep watching and listening to that story. Or maybe it's the simplistic nature of uh, the movie Toy Story. I found your hat, Woody. I so what I've noticed with a lot of the clients I work with is when they're making their videos, they're more focused on giving what I call like the college lecture sort of content on YouTube. They focus on giving a series of tips with no story or passion behind it. If you could really focus on including storytelling into your videos, this will get people to watch longer. For example, if you look at the Lord of the Rings movies, people were so invested in the characters, in the story, and seeing what was going to happen next that they kept watching and that's why those movies made millions and millions of dollars. So I want you to think of your favorite movies and books that have incredible storytelling. What's cool is you can easily tell stories even if you're just doing some like boring lecture or how-to content. It's just all on how you structure it and you frame it. If you wanna persuade people to rank videos, for example, on YouTube, you wanna tell a story about how someone was trying to rank their video on YouTube before working with you and after, those are great examples. So if you do the before, what were they doing before they even met you and even had your content to rank their videos on YouTube? Talk about all the problems that they dealt with up to that point. Maybe you could tell a story about how someone benefited from it right after they've done what you said. What was their experience? What did it feel like to them? And what did it make them do? An example of this is I created a video on how I got my first thousand subscribers on YouTube. And at the beginning of the video, this video did the best for my watch time and my audience retention because of the fact that I was telling a story of how I got my first thousand subscribers on YouTube. So as I told my story about how I got my first thousand subscribers, I was layering out basically tips and strategies of how they could get their first thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is basically YouTube strategy. So for example, in your coaching business, you could do the same thing. You could talk about what was it like for you for the product that you had in your business? What was it like not having that in your life and the things that you did? People love to hear stories. So putting bullet points or tactics throughout your stories can really drive home and get your audience to want to watch longer. So if you're still struggling with coming up with your own stories for your videos and your how-to content, just look for what other people are doing around you that relates to your point of view in the video you are making. You can find stories in self-help books or even business books that you can include in your videos. Watch other YouTube channels and steal their stories to put into your videos. How do you know what kind of stories to tell? Ever wonder why Hollywood actually makes specific movies that only cater to one one specific audience. For example, why do they make movies geared towards kids versus making a movie geared towards an adult? Why don't they just make a movie with both audiences in mind so they can get more money because you know if they get everyone in there, it'll be great. I mean, hey, combining a cartoon and making it into an action movie for adults and kids is a great idea, right? Well, we know from history that this kind of combination typically doesn't work that well. So my wife and I had this funny experience. We decided to watch this movie called Rango. In this movie, I expected a cute little kid cartoon. That's honestly what I expected as I watched it. But then as I watched it, there was a bunch of sexual innuendos in it and a bunch of just weird adult oriented stuff that I didn't expect in this movie. 
I thought it was a kid's movie. And it probably would have helped if I looked at the trailer before, but from just the mindset, I just thought it's a cartoon, so it's probably a kid's movie. So I want you to think of your ideal viewer or person that's watching your channel. So for example, for my channel, if I'm focused on helping coaches and consultants master YouTube strategies for their business, I'm gonna tell stories that I feel like they can relate to because I want them to be able to put themselves into their shoes. Now, if we're actually talking about business stuff here, let's say you have a channel that's focused on teaching you how to use Facebook ads for your business. So you could tell a story about how you used Facebook ads for the first time and what it was like. Maybe it was overwhelming. Why was it overwhelming? It was probably overwhelming because there was so much stuff to learn and so much that rules that you had to obey to use Facebook ads. You could also talk about the pain of not getting enough success from using Facebook ads. And then later you can maybe talk about how you had that mindset shift, that small thing that you had to do in order to actually get that success from using Facebook ads. Talk about the benefits of, uh, of your client using it. Tell, them, tell, tell stories. You want to tell stories of people overcoming things in your videos because your clients will most likely when they're watching these video videos be able to connect with you and be able to say that could be me and that's what you're trying to ultimately do in your videos. Tell a great story that they can relate to. Putting yourself in your audience's shoes will get them to sit up and listen. They're gonna forget about the length of the video because they know that the video is speaking to them and they're just gonna be absorbed in it. So Big Shot, how are you going to include the story technique in your coaching business or on YouTube? Comment story power down below. And if you wanna see how I use the power of story in action in one of my videos, watch this video right here on how I got my first thousand subscribers on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time, Big Shot.